morning, everyone. I'm your guest host for this lecture. My name is Am Lee. Today, we will dive into the world of fiction writing and explore the significance of establishing settings and atmosphere. Now, you might be wondering why settings and atmosphere are so important in fiction writing. Well, let me tell you, they play a crucial role in enhancing the overall storytelling experience for readers. When done right, they can transport readers to another world, making them feel right there alongside the characters, experiencing everything they experience. So, let's start with settings. Think of settings as the backdrop of your story, the place where everything happens. It could be a bustling city, a serene countryside, or even a magical land. Describing locations in a way that captivates the reader's imagination and evokes a vivid sense of place is essential to creating a strong setting. One technique to use is sensory details. Instead of simply stating that a character is in a forest, describe the rustling of leaves under their feet, the scent of pine in the air, and the sunlight filtering through the canopy. By engaging the reader's senses, you bring the location to life and make it more memorable. Another technique is utilizing figurative language. Metaphors and similes can be used to compare the setting to something else, creating a powerful image in the reader's mind. For example, you could describe a dilapidated house as an ancient ruin, wrapped in layers of peeling paint like a forgotten memory. Now, let's move on to the atmosphere. Atmosphere is all about the mood and feeling that pervades your story. It sets the tone and influences how readers will emotionally engage with your writing. To establish mood and atmosphere effectively, you can use a variety of techniques. One technique is through the choice of words and sentence structure. Short, sharp sentences and strong, descriptive language can create a tense and suspenseful atmosphere. On the other hand, longer, flowing sentences with softer language can create a calm and peaceful atmosphere. Another technique is through the use of symbolism and imagery. Symbolism is a powerful tool that can evoke emotions and add depth to your story. By carefully selecting symbols and using them throughout your writing, you can enhance the atmosphere and make your story more thought-provoking. Now, let's bring all these ideas together with some examples from well-known novels renowned for their exceptional use of setting and atmosphere. One such example is Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte. The desolate and eerie setting of the moors reflects the passionate and turbulent relationships between the characters, creating a brooding and intense atmosphere. Another example is 100 Years of Solitude by Gabriel Garcia Marquez. The tropical town of Macondo is vividly described, with its lush landscapes, vibrant colors, and magical elements, creating a dreamlike and enchanting atmosphere that complements the fantastical events of the story. To enhance your understanding, let's do a quick exercise. Close your eyes and imagine you're in a small, cozy cottage in the middle of a snowstorm. Feel the warmth of the crackling fireplace, hear the howling wind, and see the snowflakes dancing outside the window. Take a moment to immerse yourself in this setting and think about the atmosphere it creates. What emotions does it evoke? How does it make you feel? Now, let's wrap up by discussing some key takeaways. Remember to use sensory details and figurative language to bring your settings to life. Be deliberate with your choice of words and sentence structure to establish the desired atmosphere. And finally, draw inspiration from well-known novels that excel in creating captivating settings and atmospheric worlds. I hope this lecture has been helpful in understanding the significance of settings and atmosphere in fiction writing. Now, I encourage you to go out there, experiment with these techniques, and create your own captivating worlds. Happy writing, everyone!